Now that you have watched the animation, let's get some basics. One, definition of research integrity. There is no standard definition for research integrity or the responsible conduct of research. These two terms are used interchangeably. However, different sources have defined research integrity. These are the European Code of Principles of Research Integrity, the Office for Research Integrity of the United States Department of Health and Human Services, and the National Institutes of Health. Take a moment to review the following slides, pausing as needed to examine the various definitions. After the definition slides, wait when you get to the slide showing the virtue clock to see the different values that demonstrate research integrity. Dr. Chedoze Ike at Ambrose Ali University, an Irua specialist teaching hospital, designed the clock as an aid memoir for researchers and professionals. You can visit the Irua Specialist Teaching Hospital Research Clinic in Irua, Edo State, to see the clock. Note that in your exams, you may be asked to define research integrity or the responsible conduct of research. So pay attention to the definition. The next four slides will help you to learn how to promote research integrity anywhere. Please pause the video to see each slide. We can't promote research integrity without teaching it. That's why it must be part of your research methodology curriculum. Two, if we don't have a role model, then it will look almost impossible to believe that anyone could practice responsible research. While we look up to role models, we can also be good role model mentees ourselves. Nothing stops us from championing research integrity as students. What you start doing now becomes part of you. You will notice that we started with storytelling. We could promote research integrity by using folk tales. I'm sure you have seen folk tales by Auntie and Ken the famous NTA tales by Moonlight. One of the innovations in fostering research integrity, especially among young scientists and students, is playing research integrity games. There are games such as the Rotterdam Dilemma games and other integrity games available online. In Africa, we can develop games that align with our research environment. We can explore how Ubuntu philosophy could be utilized to develop African-based research or science-based integrity games. Dr. Cherdozier and other researchers are working hard to create the Africa Games for Research Integrity. Just like the Ludo board game and the Fire on the Mountain Field game, we can adapt some of our already known African games to create awareness about research integrity. For now, we are creating whiteboard animation videos, as you have seen in this lecture. One more word on promoting research integrity. You need to maintain what we call the golden mean. In communicating research integrity with colleagues, supervisors, and research participants, 
There are situations of dilemma where being at the extreme of behavior can put you or any member of the research team in trouble. So you need to maintain the golden mean while endeavoring to promote responsible conduct of research. According to Aristotle, to achieve excellence, one must not tear to either ends of behavior. He, she, she must achieve the mean called eudaimonia, a Greek word. You can view the slides on this. Please pause to see the mean of each extreme behavior. You should aim at demonstrating the golden mean in every situation you find yourself, irrespective of your position in the research. Please note that you will be asked to describe how to promote research integrity. Review the slides again to ensure they stay in your memory. Before you delve into research misconduct, pause and reflect on how you can model responsible research. It is more important that you know how you could model a virtuous behavior than troubling you with the usual scandalous, painful, regrettable, dangerous, name it, history. With the arrival of artificial intelligence, as you have seen in the animated story, there seems to be a new terror in town artificial intelligence authors. We are not yet done with authorship problems such as ghost, gift, forced and guest authorship which have emerged alongside AI authorship and other irresponsible uses of artificial intelligence. Please meet your tutor to share with you resources on the responsible use of artificial intelligence and how research in the age of AI is currently being conducted and assessed. We hope the story you just watched inspires you to use the technology ethically in research. Please watch the other video on ghost authorship. We may not go into the details at this stage, so view the remaining slides. Pay attention to what we call the FFP, falsification, fabrication, and plagiarism. Note that plagiarism has many forms, but it is essential to understand their meaning, including the QRPs, questionable research practices, and the factors that promote this dangerous behavior. Please see research misconduct as a heinous crime against humanity your future and our collective future. If we are not concerned about the rise of irresponsible research practices in medicine, biosciences, engineering, mathematics and the humanities after going through this lecture, then we are in for a corset humanity. However, I know we can trust you to be an agent of change in restoring trust in science, thereby avoiding a looming global nightmare. We can see a bright future for innovation in Africa and the global community with your resolve to become the next generation of responsible scientists. Dr. Chiedozie and the global community of research integrity are counting on you to stand up for responsible science. Will you say I stand? Thank you.